Hello, Gary Crowley here with DoItYourselfJointPainRelief.com and we are on video three of exercises for sacroiliac joint pain. In video one, we showed you how to walk and shift your tailbone, hopefully dropping that SI joint back into place. We also showed you how to, how to reverse twist and hopefully get that tailbone back into place. In video two, we showed you how to, how to tuck your tailbone and arch your back to get that tailbone moving a bit, get some more freedom in that SI joint. We also showed you how to, how to get those hip muscles yanking and, and getting those muscles moving in, in your hips uh, by pressing against your knees with your knees uh, at different lengths apart. I showed you how to do that and you can actually feel that back there when you do that. We also showed you how to do a bicycle motion with again with your knees at different widths. And so hopefully if uh, hopefully your SI joints are already feeling better but now in this video we want to do a uh, we just want to do a basic sacral twist that you might have might have actually seen or have someone done to you in the past and I just want to show you how to do a, a simple relax uh, your your SI joint under under a little uh, tilted wedge uh, that anybody can do and uh, can can often be the final little thing or the only thing you need uh, to get that SI joint just to drop back in depending on the causative things uh, that are that are yanking on that joint and again I also you know uh, and recommend strongly that you go to the main SI joint uh, pain relief page where I run you through everything and free everything that could be that could be yanking on this tailbone or yanking on these hip bones so that in the future you don't have to uh, go through this whole thing again but anyway the last thing we're going to do here uh, the last two things are we're going to show you a standard um, sacrum kind of maybe what your your chiropractor would do on you we're going to do a little more gently uh, I don't consider it a, an adjustment I, I, I consider it a, a, a dropping back in a shifting uh, of the bones as, as the muscles release so what you want to do is uh, basically sit with uh, lie like this with one knee up and if you can do it on the edge of a table like this fantastic but you can also just do it on the floor but you're just going to let that let that knee drop over and you're basically going to try to put that shoulder as far in the other direction as you can while you try to drive this you can even grab this if you're flexible enough and pull on that a little bit and even though I don't have SI joint problems this feels great I actually feel it right in my SI joint that's kind of what you want to do you want to aim your you might have to experiment a little bit you know like if my knees up here I'm not getting it uh, my knee right about there I feel it right in my SI joint and again I don't even have any SI joint problems at the moment but um, but that's what it looks like from the other from the other side it looks like this again you're just putting this knee up and you're just letting it drop I'm driving this shoulder back as far as I can and let me see see you want to investigate a little bit People don't see there's there's my sweet spot I can feel it right through that SI joint and again don't be afraid to play around like that doesn't do it that doesn't do it that does it for me because the tension in my body is is while well, it's similar to a lot of people it's it's you know unique to my body so you gotta play around a little bit and actually feel it in different ways in different spots now that as that lets go uh, so and a lot of times you'll feel that you'll feel that thing clunk back in. You'll feel that that tailbone and that hip bone as that you create that kind of gap in that joint. When you do that, all of a sudden it can it can get back where it wanted to be, and uh, then you're then you're out of pain. And so that's a standard wonderful twist. Um, I introduce it now because I want at least as much freedom in, in there as I can in this in kind of this quick fix mode uh, so that's why I had to do those things in video two first and uh, if you self assess after stand on one leg check that out uh, if you're out of pain fantastic if it's still bugging you a little bit the last and final thing uh, I'm going to bust out the secret weapon um, a sneaker and a pair of socks 
And basically what we're going to do is we're going to use this as a little wedge to stick under one side of your tailbone. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lie on my back. Uh, some of you have probably done this in the chiropractor's office, but um, you're just going to put that shoe under there and you're going to sit there for five or ten minutes. And then when you're done there, you can preferably do the side that, that basically is bothering you. But then, you know, then you can do the other side. Now I find a shoe um, is nice because it's got some give, but it's got a little too much give for me. So I take, I take a pair of either one sock or two, you know, I have these small, small running socks. Um, but if you stick them down the bottom of the shoe, so I've got about, what, four layers of cloth uh, there. And you just lie on your back, get comfortable, stick that shoe under there. See, I can now I can feel, I can feel that sacrum being pushed on a little bit. Without the socks in there, I couldn't I couldn't feel it. And um, so you want a nice gentle, basically pressure upward pressure on that joint because now you're now my tailbone is is tilted, and as it sits here for a little while. Things are going to have to relax around that a little bit that are maybe inappropriately holding it. And I'd lay here for five or ten minutes. Ten minutes is fine. And I can actually even feel things. Again, I don't have side joint problems, but I can feel things uh, kind of shifting as that changes. And then basically you just take it, do the other side. Or actually what I recommend, take it out of one side, that side that hurts. Assess, assess, see if that feels better. If it feels completely better, then don't do the other side. But if they're still a little tweaky, you can always do this side too. Let things adjust there. You'll probably get a little more release of any inappropriate tension in that, in that joint. And then after five to 10 minutes there, you just make sure everything's okay. And uh, if there's still any <clears throat> residual SI stuff again the main SI joint page is is got a lot of good stuff I show you how to release all your hips but you can also then you know now you can go back and do that that walking SI joint release the reverse twist you know SI joint fix you can do your rock your tailbone a little bit rock and arch you can do your knee press pull your bicycle at all these different angles and then you can come back do those twists again and again these just feel good so um, gosh you could start your day every day like this would be a, a nice way to go with a cup of coffee you know um, but um, and then uh, you could do it again so any of those are wonderful quick fixes I sincerely hope uh, one of them does the does the trick for you, and I look forward to hearing how it goes. Thank you very much.